Taleric, Taleric, Taleric. It doesn't really matter how you pronounce it. They make amazing controls for all kinds of UI frameworks, including .NET MAUI. Let's have a look. In a lot of my videos, I talk about controls and plugins that you can use inside of your .NET MAUI project, which is really amazing because you get all the benefits of other people's work, basically. That's all work that you could have done yourself, but now someone else has done it for you, and you can just plug that in your .NET MAUI application with just a few lines of code. And a lot of the projects and controls that I highlight are usually open source, and that typically also means that they are available for free. And who doesn't like free? I do. And then you get to use them at no cost inside of your own application. But there are also the companies that partner with .NET MAUI and put out there the full control suites with all kinds of amazing controls like um, data grids, PDF viewers, uh, all kinds of tools to export to PDF or Excel, image editors. We'll see a couple of those in this video, uh, which is really amazing. And think about it this way, those controls are paid, but that will also give you a little bit of guarantee on continuation. For example, Teleric has been around for a super long time, right? They have been doing stuff for, I think, WinForms, ASP.NET, Trigger Warning. They have done stuff for Silverlight. I think you can still get that. So that is really amazing. And you will get support. You will get, you know, your bug fixes probably addressed. Um, and this company is going to be here for a long while because they're actually making money of this stuff, right? So they appreciate you as a customer. So there's definitely benefits for that as well. And still, the amount that you pay for it is much, much less, trust me, than creating your own data grid. I, I can guarantee you as much. What I always find super important to highlight with these videos where there is a paid company well behind it because I want to tell you it's not behind it they're not sponsoring me they're not paying me they did not ask me to make this video they're not saying hey don't show this do show that uh, full disclosure you might be wondering why I'm wearing a Christmas sweater while it's summer outside and very hot at the time of recording well they did send me this amazing Christmas sweater a couple of years ago already so there's that <laughs> But now let's move on to the main event and let's check out those awesome controls by Teleric. Before we go over to the code, let's have a look at what the website has to offer. So if you go to Teleric.com, you can find all the information about everything that they do, of course. But if you go to Teleric.com slash Maui dash UI, you will get right to the Maui bits. Um, and here you can see, of course, free trial by now. I'm not going to go into licensing or pricing or any of that. You are the only one who can decide if this is worth it for you or not. Um, and of course, the pricing may change over time. So I'm not going to go into any of that. I'm not getting any license. Like I didn't get sponsored. I didn't even get a license. And that's not saying something that I requested or that I want so that I can show you um, whatever you will see as well. So I'm I just downloaded this free trial um, and started with that. So if you download it, I think you have a couple of options to start here with, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, so let's scroll down and we can see like all the cool controls that they have, a list view, all kinds of charts, um, data grid, date picker, tab view, a customizable tab view is something people always want. So in here you can click on the see full list of controls. Of course, the website can change over time if you're watching this sometime in the future and you can see all the crazy controls that they have right now. And this is actively being developed, right? You can see a new tree view, a updated data grid. You have all these kinds of things. Look at this, one column of charts, all kinds of charts right here. Um, buttons, editors, uh, what else is always super um, popular? A PDF viewer, right? We're going to see that in a little bit. Um, a calendar. So we have all kinds of crazy cool things here. So. We've got that. Um, if you go to docs and support right here, they also have, of course, all kinds of documentation and support for you to get started with this. So you can just start searching here. They will have references for all controls. Um, they will have like sections on how to get started. And um, that's what I just wanted to say a little bit earlier. Like you can get started with MSIs or a PKG on macOS and you will get installers. And I think that will install all kinds of stuff on your local machine, like uh, sample code. So that's super helpful. Um, but also the NuGet packages on your local machine. That's what some people prefer and some other stuff as well. Uh, a very cool Visual Studio extension. We'll see that in a minute. Um, but what I like to do is just add the NuGet feed and get all the stuff from there. So um, it all basically starts with you creating an account. I'm sure you can figure that out yourself. I'm not going to show you that. But whenever you're logged in, that's my next tab here, you will find a um, account overview like this. So I have a little bit of history here. I have some old expired licenses. Um, but you will see all of this and you can go to downloads 
Um, and you can find here, you can find the .NET MAUI uh, thing right here. So we have that. Um, and what you can do now is manage NuGet keys. So maybe you need to enable something for the trial. I don't actually know. So that your 30 days start counting. Uh, maybe you need to enable that and get your license right here. I don't remember doing that for my account, but maybe you do. Um, but I like to do it through NuGet. So you can just go to manage NuGet keys and you can get your keys here. Now we'll see in a little bit how to set it up, but your username is always going to be API key because you have to authorize Authorized. And I think that's also the way how they determine like, hey, do you see only the trial packages or the actual packages? Um, and you can get, generate this key, right? So I'm just going to do this Maui demo right here, demo generate key and make sure to copy this one. Um, so we've got that. We'll see how to enter that in a little bit. There is instructions in the documentation how to add the NuGet feed. It's super simple. If you know the URL, I'll make sure that it's down in the video description. So with that, let's hop over to Visual Studio um, where I created a new .NET MAUI project. Um, and this is just a default template. I did a couple of things already. I set up that NuGet feed. So to do that, let's go over to Tools and then you have NuGet Package Manager, Package Manager Settings, and you have Package Sources. So I have a bunch of them. But here at the end, you can see this Telerik one, nuget.telerik.com, v3, index.json. I'll make sure to put the link down there. Um, you can just have that. Don't forget to uh, click the update button so that it really is stuck in here. You can click the plus one to add a new source uh, to do that. And now whenever, I, I'm not sure if that happens whenever you add it uh, as a source, but whenever you now go to add the NuGet packages, so right click on your project, manage NuGet packages, you can filter on the package source Telerik right here, and you will get this uh, authentication box, right? So here we do API dash key, that's the same for everyone. And I'm going to paste my key in here, um, click okay. And then I'm going to actually see all the packages right here for Telerik. So you can see all kinds of stuff here, um, which I don't even know what it is, but you can search for Maui and it will bring you this Maui package. Everything in just one single package um, that's there for you to use. So just install that and you should be good to go. Now, as with a lot of the packages, um, you have to initialize a little bit in your Maui program. So go over to that and you have to, in your app builder, say use Telerik um, and use this namespace right here, Telerik Maui controls compatibility, hook that up and you're ready to go with all these amazing controls. All right. So we've got that all out of the way. Uh, now you might have already noticed a little spoiler on the left right here, which is Telerik UI for .NET MAUI Toolkit. And you can see all the controls here. Super, super helpful. Um, because what I can do now is just remove all of this from my uh, default template. And what I can do is scroll down here, get that tab view, just uh, do that over to my example view right here, just drag it in and I have a tab view complete with a little sample code on how to use it. The basic usage is right here um, and you can start using that. Now that is super cool, super helpful. If you want to get that, install through the MSI that I just mentioned or go to extensions in Visual Studio, uh, manage extensions and make sure that you're selecting the Visual Studio marketplace here. Um, and then you can search for Telerik. They have a bunch of other extensions, but the one that you want to have is this Progress Telerik UI for .NET MAUI extension, right? Five stars, five votes. Make sure to vote if you like this thing. Install that and you will get this toolbox and also a little menu in here that says Telerik that points you to all the documentation, reporting a bug, request support, all that great stuff. So now I have this tab view and let's see what other cool stuff we have here. So let's start with a simple calendar right here. So let's drag a calendar in here and let me see, let me find it here in the toolbox. Super nice, super quick um, calendar. Boom, put the calendar in here and that is it. You just have a calendar. And what's really cool, like it also imported this XML namespace right here. So typically you have to figure that out yourself. It just adds that here inside of your content page where you're using it so that you can start using your uh, stuff right here. Now the rad thing is a little, um, um, I think quiz, pop quiz question, little trivia, um, stands for rapid application development. And I think it has historical reasons that they start naming that uh, with everyone. Please tell Eric, be in the comments and explain to us why that is. Um, but that's how they prefix kind of like all their controls and all their things. Um, and of course, you can just start typing your own, right? So if we go um, like with a second thing here, and what do I want to do here? Let's uh, check out the accordion, which is really cool. So you do Telerik, um, and then you have all the other things here, right? That are in that Telerik namespace. So I can do accordion, accordion item, item header, or the rat accordion. But I can also still just drag that from here, from the toolbox, and I get a little bit of sample code right here. So that is pretty amazing. So we now have an accordion. 
we have a calendar. What else are we going to do? Um, we're going to see a little image editor. So an image editor is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, let's remove the label right here. And let's check out that image editor. Boom, we got an image editor. And you can see, I'll of course run this in a little bit and you can see how it all looks like, but I'm just going through the code right now and all the controls that are here. A image editor, so we get a grid. Um, and then we have this red image editor, which gets a reference. And then we have this image editor toolbar. Right? So it includes a toolbar that lets you do operations on that image. You don't need to use it. You can invoke all those operations from code if that's what you want, but you get this toolbar included. And it references kind of like that image editor so it knows where to invoke all the operations. Um, and that's why it's set up here. So we have, of course, a source. That's what we need. And we have the .NET bot built in. Uh, in the default template, right? So let's just use that. We're going to see that. And let's just add another tab view item. So I'm going to do Telerik um, tab view item. And I'm going to add one last thing and I'm going to add the PDF viewer, right? So we have a ton of good stuff. I can't go over any, uh, all of it. So let me know if there is one control that you want to know more about. Let me know down in the questions um, before the trial ends. <laughs> and then I'll make sure they uh, make a follow-up video or answer you in the comments or maybe Telerik uh, is, is in the comments as well. PDF viewer. Um, so we fix it that way. Okay, the PDF viewer, we got that one. And I got a little sample URL. You can also see this is kind of like follows the same pattern as that image um, editor. Um, so we have again a grid so that it's nicely uh, lays out. And then we have this PDF viewer toolbar, right? For this PDF viewer, so it references it like this. Um, and then we have all the options. So you can leave options out if that's what you want. Um, we have the fit to width toolbar, the zoom in, zoom out, navigate to previous page and next page. So you can leave out buttons if that's what you want. And of course, also we here have to provide it with a PDF um, thing. So you can make that a local file or you can make that a URL. So this is just some dummy thing that I found right here. Um, and you can start using that. So, okay, I think we got a nice set of things here. So let's just start running this on Windows. Um, and you can see that we um, uh, will see this thing, how it looks like on Windows, because that's how .NET MAUI works, right? It translates everything to how it should look like on the platform. There is a build error here because in my code behind is referencing um, elements in the default template that are not available anymore. So let's just remove those and run it again. So we're going to see it on Windows. We're going to see the tabs um, on, on Windows, right? And we're going to see all those controls that I um, added there. And if I just run it on Android in a little bit, you will see that it transforms all of that and it also works on Android. I actually didn't um, show you that on the website, but on the overview of all the controls, let me just, while we're waiting here, let me just hop over back to uh, the website here. Here at the top, you can see supported for Windows, Mac OS, iOS, and Android. So it supports all the platforms that are supported by .NET MAUI as well, which is really cool. So not just Android and iOS, which you see for, uh, you know, a lot of the controls, open source or not, um, that's usually the primary focus, but for all the platforms out there. So that's really cool. Okay, back to Visual Studio, our Windows machine is running. You will get this little pop-up if you're using the trial, just so that you, you're not using this in production. Um, so we've got that. And we have all the tabs here, right? So tab, 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 tab. And so let's start, start here with the calendar. You can see this is a crazy cool calendar. Um, you can, of course, put it in a little layout so that it probably looks a little bit nicer maybe. Um, or if you like big calendars, then this is for you. But you got all this stuff built in. So it highlights the uh, day of today. Um, you can just click on this uh, month and year view and you will zoom out, zoom out, so you, that you can select other stuff right here. And if we zoom back into today, uh, September, and you will get right here. And you can see this selecting thing going on. Um, and I think this also all works with hot reload. So if I go in here and say in that calendar, like, hey, I want to set the selected date, um, and it has these converters built in, right? So it doesn't have to be a daytime object. I can just say 2023, uh, September, and let's make that uh, 20, and save that. I think they should show up right here but it doesn't. Okay, so maybe that doesn't work. Um, <laughs> cut, 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 retake. Um, so we don't have that. You'll see that in running in a little bit. And um, if you, another cool thing that you can do, like it can do loads of cool things, but another cool thing that you can do is say like, hey, the selection mode, um, and we have a couple of those. You can select multiple, so you can select multiple dates, or you can select a range, right? That usually uh, makes sense in a calendar as well. So you can select a range, and let's see if it takes that one. 
So if I do this one and then that one, no, it doesn't really take like this. Okay, so we'll try the hot reload in, in a second here. Maybe if I click the button, um, it says no changes found. Okay, we'll we'll fix that in a little bit, Do doesn't matter. So what else did we have? The accordion, right? So the accordion is kind of like an expander. I think we have a separate expander as well, um, but we have this accordion view, right? Where you can have these little headers and then some content inside of that. So that will help you lay out all the things as well. And I think this one looks pretty consistent across platforms as well. So maybe I think they're drawing some controls as well with Skia. Um, so we've got this control. Now the image editor, this one is super, super cool. We see the .NET bot here, right? So I'm on desktop right now, so I can just use my mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. If you're on mobile, and maybe if you have a touch enabled desktop as well, you can just pinch and, and pan to zoom as well. Um, you can use the buttons here in the toolbar that we've just seen, or you can set this uh, zoom to fit an actual size. You can have all these things. You can flip horizontal, vertically. You can undo and redo all those things, just build in. Um, and what's super cool, you can crop it. So if you want to have something like a av uh, well, a avatar profile image view, then you can just say, hey, I want to have this square thing and uh, sorry, the um, 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 circle thing because that's what all the um, profile images do, right? And you can just say, okay, and now we are clipped to this um, circle thing and you can drag it around in there. Um, you can rotate a little bit uh, manually um, and you can do all kinds of filters here. So you can play with the U, you can play with the saturation, you can play with the brightness, uh, the blur. If you want to see the blur, we have to bring the brightness down a little bit so you can play with the blur or sharpen and you can apply all of that to this image. Crazy, crazy cool. Just build into this little control suite that's by Telerik. Okay, PDF viewer, always super popular as well. PDF, I think it's licensed technology, so I think that's why it's always super hard, maybe even expensive. Um, it, the format isn't really nice to work with, so that's why there aren't many, if any, free PDF viewers out there. Um, but Telerik has one, not for free, but it has one for you to use. And this is a very simple PDF uh, dummy file. This is just the one that I found on the internet. Um, but you can zoom in, zoom out, make it fit to um, um, the size here. And if there were more multiple pages, there are no multiple pages in this PDF file, you can just use these um, buttons right here to navigate up and down through all the pages. And I'm sure that there is more functionality built in here for you to use. Now, if I switch over to Android, so I just stop this one, um, then we can also see the changes here that I made to this uh, calendar thing. So let's just switch over to Android right here. So like the emulator, um, switch over to that. It's going to build for um, Android, it's going to bring up the emulator, and it's going to show me the exact same stuff, but now how it's supposed to look like on Android. Okay, the application is coming up. So we can finally inspect all this Telerik goodness on an Android device. And of course, this also runs on iOS. I just haven't hooked that up uh, to my demo machine right here. So let's load this up. Here we go. Again, the pop-up for the trial. That makes sense. And now we can see this same kind of um, calendar, right? I must have messed up something with the date. I don't know what it is because it's not selected as I was... Um, expecting here, but you can see that it does do the selection um, with the range now, right? So I can select one date and then the other one and it selects a full range. So we've got that going on. And again, like if you do all this thing, you can zoom out to the years, do all of that, navigate through these years. Um, you can do this minimum date, maximum date. You have all the control to create a fully featured calendar application yourself. You don't need to worry about creating this control super powerful. This accordion, like I said, it looks and feels um, pretty much the same over platforms from what I've seen. So I think this is a, um, and it's a very custom control, right? This is not something that you typically see on uh, the platform specific devices. So there is this for you to use. The image edit, like again, you can see the toolbar is a little bit shorter. It's a little bit different, um, but you can do this. Um, I'm not sure what the shortcut key is here for pinching and that kind of stuff. Is it this one? I don't know. I'm just pressing keys now. I don't know what it is. So um, you, you have to trust me at work. And you can still do all of these filters, all of these things, right? But it's made a little bit mobile, more mobile friendly um, for you to actually use instead of having those little pop-ups in there. Um, you can just cancel whatever changes you're doing here. So you have all the power here at the tip of your finger now on this Android device. And the same thing for this PDF viewer, right? It's just loaded already into memory. You can zoom, you can do this, uh, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. And that's how cool the controls are in this Telerik control suite. As you can maybe tell, I got carried away here a little bit because this video is a little bit longer than you're used to from me. So let's just wrap up quickly. Um, let me know down in the comments, what is your 
favorite control? What control do you want to learn more about? What more? Okay, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and just go here to the next video, and I'll see you there.